Good evening. 60% of university graduates in the EU are women. But despite being the more qualified gender, women are often excluded from senior positions in big companies. Senior positions, as we know, are usually held by men. There has been some progress, but women are still chronically underrepresented in boardrooms where decisions are made. In 2021, only 30.6% of board members in the EU's largest publicly listed companies were women. This gender gap is now set to change after the European Parliament adopted a directive on the matter at plenary last week. Before we look at the new EU initiative, let's look at gender quotas in general. What are gender, gender quotas and do they work? Well, a gender quota is a tool used by countries and organizations to increase women's representation. This instrument can be used to correct an imbalance and to promote equal access to opportunity. There are quotas in some countries for national parliaments, but quotas can also be used in the private sector. We all know that women are underrepresented everywhere in society. For centuries, women have not had a seat at the table when big decisions were made. We have all heard about the glass ceiling and we know about all of the barriers that women face when they go for top roles in any organization in the public or the private sector. Since it is clear that despite progress made for women's rights and gender equality in society in recent years, women remain massively underrepresented in top roles, intervention may be required. Quotas can be this intervention and they are by definition temporary measures. They aim to eradicate an inequality that has built up over time. When it doesn't look like the problem will fix itself, they can be a good solution. And for example, national governments and now the EU have decided to take action. The latest directive from the EU relates to the private sector and to publicly listed companies. Quotas can help in the business world to put an end to the advantages that men have always had due to gender bias and to old boys networks where men help each other out and do favors for each other. Quotas can ensure that qualified women are no longer denied access to management positions because of their gender. Let's look specifically at this new directive now. This directive, which is sometimes referred to as the Women on Boards Directive, was adopted last Tuesday, 10 years after the proposal was first made. It aims to introduce transparent recruitment procedures in companies so that at least 40% of non-executive director posts or 33% of all director posts, so executive and non-executive, are occupied by the underrepresented sex, that is women, by the end of June 2026. According to the new rules, merit must remain the key, key criterion in selection procedures. So this new directive means that in cases where there are two candidates applying for a position, where the two candidates are equally qualified for the role, priority will go to the woman. This will at least be the case until the representation goals are met. The affected companies will have to provide information about the gender representation on their boards to the competent authorities once a year. This information will also be published on the company's website in an easily accessible manner. As I said earlier, these rules apply to publicly listed companies and small and medium-sized enterprises 
or SMEs with fewer than 250 employees are excluded from the scope of the directive. But you might be wondering how will all of this be enforced? Well, member states will be required to set up a penalty system for companies who do not comply. The directive stipulates that member states need to put in place rules on effective and dissuasive penalties, such as fines. The EU can also hand out penalties if standards are not met. So what does this mean for the member states? Well, there is a lot of variation amongst the member states and some member states are already doing a lot of work towards the goals set out in the new directive. Some member states already have national rules on gender quotas. When it comes to women's representation on company boards, France is top of the list with 45.3% of board members being women. Therefore, France actually already meets the requirements of the new directive. This is all thanks to a 2011 law which passed, which phased in a 40% quota to improve the gender balance on boards in companies listed on the stock exchange. Even though this new law was a hotly debated topic at the time, it has resulted in a spectacular balancing. In the affected companies, in 2009, they had 10% of women on boards, but by 2019, the figure was 45%. If it worked in France, it can certainly work in other member states where women's representation is much lower. But is it a good idea to impose such gender quotas? Well, research shows that companies that embrace diversity are more successful. An inclusive and diverse approach in the boardroom contributes to better decisions in corporate governance and it increases public trust in the business. As we have seen, women remain underrepresented in companies in situations where there has been no intervention despite other progress in society. We also know that women are highly qualified, in many cases more qualified than men, so we know they can do the job. All they need is the opportunity to do it, and sometimes that opportunity won't be given to them unless we make rules. Thank you.